So I wondered what would be of use to anyone at this time of year. I really do feel that this is this is an opportunity. I think I said something like this this time last year. I, f- I feel that the winter solstice or this time of year and the end of the year, it, it's just a wave of energy. And w- with that wave of energy means chaos. It, like it, it's the tide brings up, it churns up the fucking sand, opens a can of worms. Can I think of any more cliches? It, it brings up the fucking discomfort. Like look at, the, look at what's going on in the world fucking lockdowns and maybe for the vaccination is coming all this kind of stuff none of that bothers me in the slightest i'm not fighting any of this stuff not bothered don't care free of this stuff i'm fucking living the life here i'm i'm freer than i have ever been in my life So I'm passing on what I've been doing for December and what I will continue to do for the rest of this year, for the last few days or weeks. And this is it. This is my, the greatest fucking gift that I, this is what I'm doing every day. And this is what I can, uh, among other things, but this is what I can pass on to anyone listening. If you want to capitalize on this wave, here you go. Over the last two, three days, quickly look back in your mind or today and think, what things have triggered me, pissed me off? See if anything comes to mind. Now, the flaw here is that some people are not actually conscious enough to be able to fucking identify these things. Believe me, I work with people who think think they don't get annoyed. I don't get annoyed because they're, they're not fucking awake. They're not. Hello? They're not in there. They're not in their body. They're fucking half asleep through the day. If they have a scream and argument with someone or something goes really wrong, then they realize they get annoyed. It's it's like low-level depression. They're just fucking unhappy during the day. It's like they're medicated, drugged, and they don't realize they're actually grinding through the day. But enough about them. If you look back over the last two, three days at the things that annoyed you, and I don't mean a 10 out of 10 annoy, I mean even two, three out of 10. Turned on the TV, shit in the news, husband piss you off, kids were screaming, barky dog, traffic, pandemic, forced vaccinations, any of those. And I know there's, there's loads of them. I don't mean you're not going if you look back and you think well I don't think there was anything I'm sorry I don't believe you I'd be I'd be baffled as to why you're fucking listening to one of my videos and you've had a fucking great few days you scan through your day I guarantee you now they don't have to be things that pissed you off for four hours might have pissed you off for fucking two minutes but those things they're the keys they are the keys to the end of this this year the things that fucking irritate you on social media. A friend says, flicking through the news or the radio stations, the vaccine is coming, whatever it may be. It might only last seconds. If you can hone in on those things. I think it's David Goggin says, double down on your weaknesses. We know the phrase, hey, double down on your strengths. Bullshit. My strengths are good. I'm fucking quite content with them. I'm going to double down on my weaknesses. So find those little things that fucking irritate you, that fucking piss you off, maybe really annoy you, that you're worried about. Turn off the radio, turn off the phone and and feel what those things are. Mm, yeah, I'm really afraid about the vaccination. I'm afraid of another lockdown. My business is going under. My husband is drinking more because of the lockdown. All these people are fucking going bananas. If you find those things, you're already halfway there. So find find a few of those things over the last two, three days. Now the next thing is, those things are, those events, 
news stories, screaming kids, barky dog, whatever it may be, those things are only, I don't, I don't mean maybe, I don't, yeah, I don't mean 20%, 75%, I mean exclusively only entering your world and activating you because of your own internal unintegrated frequency. These events are you. So if you if you can dismiss that comment, fucking good luck to you. Love and light, Archangel Michael, fucking affirmations, all the best. Rub your crystal. If you can sit down and acknowledge that all these little fucking triggers that are annoying you or have annoyed you, the husband, the barky dog, the screaming kids, the fucking cold coffee, the traffic on the way to work, whatever fucking little things, the news, all that shit that's in the news, any of these little things that are the fear, the anxiety, the apprehension within you, that's how you get free. That's how you capitalize on the end of this year. That's how I'm capitalizing on the end of this year. Each day I'm writing a list. Things that fucking get to me. The people that get to me. My attachment to them. That I need them. Or I need their approval. Or they annoy me. Or fucking barky dog annoys me. Whatever it may be. Little things. Big things. Doesn't matter. I'm finding them. I'm not dwelling on them. I'm not thinking about them at all. I'm not going round and round in my head about how they said this or did this and I want that. I don't think about them. I find the frequency within my body. The neediness, the fear, the anxiety, whatever it may be. And I tell you this, I'm grateful because these days, most of these are a two, three out of ten. There's nothing really, I'm not encountering touch wood, I'm not encountering many fucking big traumas or challenges. The vaccine doesn't fucking bother me. None of this stuff bothers me at all these days. But I have my own stuff, bit by bit. So I'm writing my list and I'm fucking sitting there and I'm finding it in my body. I'm going looking for trouble. People who've worked with me will know that on the eight-week course, I suggest to people, don't go looking for trouble. Because when you start this work, you're in the sewer. There's enough shit that's going to wash through your brain. And as you become conscious and start to become present and witness it, it's fucking overwhelming. But when we've worked through enough of it, and we're coasting a bit, or things are going kind of well, then maybe it's time... If there's enough fuel in the tank to go looking for trouble. Go looking for the triggers. Stay conscious, stay aware and see who or what activates us. Barky dog. See who or what... Barky dog going bananas. See who or what activates us. Challenges us. Brings up that shit. That's how you get free. That's how you're going to change and release your own trauma in the next two, three weeks into the new year. That's how you can have a much fucking better and a much freer 2021. If you continue to carry these frequencies, you will continue to draw in these experiences. Thank you, Barky Dog, for the soundtrack. (laughs) I hope he keeps going. Stay with me. He can be the backing track. (laughs) That's it. Stay with me. If you don't integrate these frequencies, you'll continue to carry them with you. You'll continue to draw in these experiences, which will continue to activate you. So I have the barky dog. But the barky dog is not activating me. I'm not triggered by him. I'm not challenged. It's fucking half two in the morning. (laughs) Do you see my point? So there's there's maybe forced vaccinations, lockdowns, uh, whatever else is going on in the world. I'm oblivious at this stage. They're not triggering me. Now, there is a school of thought that thinks, well, it should be triggering you. You should be activated and you should be protesting. No, no thanks. (laughs) 
I'm going to live free. If I'm not triggered and and I, I'm not I'm not ignoring those things, I'm not pushing them out of my mind, not at all. They don't bother me. There is no trigger within me. There's no activation. I've integrated a lot of that stuff. The world is upside down. What is challenging you is what sets you free. There is no elite. There is no devil. There is no hell. There is no evil. There is nothing to fight against. You've created that structure as part of your game and journey. There's a lot of people buying into it these days. They got to fight the fucking system. Fight this, that and the other. It's you. It's all you. Whatever you encounter that you fight against or recoil against is yourself. It's those parts of you that you can't or struggle to embrace, to witness and to honor. And it's absolutely heartbreaking to allow them to witness them to sit with them how violent they may seem how ugly how evil dark but they're you they're me that's what consciousness is that's who we are we're all these aspects doesn't mean you have to act out on them but it does help to be able to own them and honor them they're still perfect and they're still purposeful so i hope that's of use I'll leave some links below for a newsletter. If you want to buy me a coffee or 10, you can. There's a link below. And thanks for listening.